Today we are in Montreal. Welcome to Montreal. Immediately just feels so like in a big city. It sort of feels like New York. It does, it does. We just drove by the downtown. It's hell of a place. It's so beautiful. Right off the bat, I mean, quite obviously, it's a beautiful city. It's got some amazing European vibes. Montreal <laughs> beautiful. Uh, is one of the most beautiful cities you'll, you'll ever go to. Our virtual road trip takes us to Montreal. Montreal! <laughs> it is such a great city. So you were born in Montreal. <laughs> okay, well, no, because you're doing sort of a French and trying to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> Montreal. We pronounce it Montreal. Oh. Like it's with a U. Montreal. Montreal. And we always know if an American's like, are you from Montreal? Yeah. <laughs> we just arrived in Montreal, one of the most exquisite cities in all of North America. And I've wanted very badly to visit this city. When I first met Melissa, I asked her, like, where do you want to go? What's the place you have always wanted to go? She said, and here we are. It took six plus years, but we made it. Made it to our Airbnb. Look how beautiful the architecture is. Guys, this is probably the coolest Airbnb I've ever stayed in. Such a nice micro apartment. Like this is really the type of apartment that I wish I could be living in. You've got a great view. Wow. I really like Montreal. Like this city is just, compared to San Francisco, is so modern. We arrived in Montreal. This apartment, charming, French. Beautiful, yeah. really nice wooden floors, high ceilings. She keeps telling, why is everything in French? Like, girl, you're in Quebec. It's so weird. Suddenly, we're in France. I've been making observations and saying, this feels like France. She's giving me crap. It's new France. <laughs> there might be a reason for it. Montreal is unique in North America. It's Canada, but it feels like Europe. And it's pretty close to the US. While walking the streets of old Montreal, I no longer felt like I was in North America. I was transported to the streets of Paris. Montreal has been amazing. I love the city so much. It has its own vibe that's hard to explain. Your architecture is amazing. It's like if Europe and New York were to combine itself in some twisted way and speak French. I'm not getting Canada vibes from Montreal. I'm not going to lie. European. I'm getting European. I keep on forgetting this is Canada. I feel like I'm in Europe. It's so beautiful. I'm going to live here. This place is just incredible. You know, after visiting this, I'm just like, why didn't I put this on my travel list before? I, I really had no idea that Montreal was like this. I wish that I had come to this place earlier. We're going virtually, not yeah. in Let's go in real time next year, right? <laughs> Gelman said we gotta take a trip there soon, so yes, it looks it, beautiful. Yes, it really is. My, it's our favorite city outside of New York. We just really love it there so much. In Montreal, what immediately stood out to me was the city's architecture. There's a ton of history here. Look to your right. Is that the Notre Dame Basilica? Whoa, that is so cool. So as you're walking around Montreal, you'll see a lot of iconic churches. But the most iconic of them all is the Notre Dame. One of the most famous churches in all of Canada. This is Notre Dame. Look at the size it of this. It's absolutely stunning inside if you're coming here and it's opened up. It's, it's a must do. Do you see that building with the cross? Oh, yeah. That's the Notre Dame. <gasps> That's where Celine Dion got married. What? No way! Can we go? Yeah. All right, you guys. I have been very excited to do this. It's one of the finest church ever. The Notre Dame Basilica. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. This place is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this stair thing. Oh my goodness. It is absolutely spectacular. The interior of the church is amongst the most dramatic in the world and regarded as a masterpiece of Gothic Revival architecture. Approximately 11 million people visit Notre Dame Basilica every year before COVID. This is almost 200 years old. Beautiful. And looking at the back, the majestic organ. At the world-renowned Basilica of Notre Dame, Pierre Grandmaison has played the organ for luminaries like the Pope and at the wedding of Celine Dion, who was married here in 1994. It's a great pleasure for us to, to have the opening of the border, you know? We are waiting for you. Wow, that was crazy, man. Amazing, spectacular place to visit. 
That was awesome. What a beautiful church. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's breathtaking inside. I love the colors in there. I don't know how they made it so vibrant and blue. I don't think there is a video in the whole world can show the design, the art. Literally, as soon as you open the door, you just feel like you're somewhere else. It doesn't matter what religion you are, you just feel that peace. Then of course, there's the art, and it's everywhere. On alley walls, in shop windows, in street stalls, and upmarket galleries. You could browse for hours. As far as art, Montreal has murals everywhere. Art is around the city. There are sculptures on the street. It is as much of a part of the city as the street lamps, as the sidewalks, and as the people. So much to do here. We actually chose this weekend specifically because there's a pretty unique event going on, the Mural Festival, annual festival where artists from all over the world come together to kind of celebrate urban art. For the Mural Festival, pretty cool that right off St. Laurent, they had a mini music festival going on while they also painted a new mural of this giant rooster. People love Montreal because of the festivals. It's got more than 110 festivals per year. Running the gamut of dance and music, comedy and performance, film and fun, Montreal's beloved festivals are an integral part of the city. Just walking along Montreal is pretty cool. You look ahead, you see people dancing in the streets, literally. There's a whole rave going on over there, man. Man, every corner there's like someone singing or dancing. It was nice to see that the whole city was ready to party. There was street food getting served, there were street shows happening, people were out and about just having fun and it was such a lively atmosphere. One of the things that I actually really loved about Montreal was the fact that it's so lively. There's people literally shoulder to shoulder in the streets celebrating, dancing, listening to music, having fun. There's a certain vibe to Montreal that I've never really experienced before. Just There's music playing everywhere around every single corner. Look how beautiful everything so is right now. Cool. This city is so freaking artsy. I see photographers everywhere. There's like awesome colors everywhere. And another reason why many move here is the world-class culture. We're talking about you have music events all the time. You have some of the best food in the country. It's a melting pot. It's multicultural. Everything is delicious and there's a really high standard of quality of food here. With over 5,000 restaurants and the largest jazz festival in the world, Montreal lights up after dark. We're just walking around St. Denis Street. It's amazing. It's all the bars are here, all the restaurants. People are sitting in the patio. It's such a cool vibe. It feels like we're back in Europe, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do in Montreal is just eating at terraces with my friends. I feel like the ambiance that you get, especially at night, there's so many people around you. I think it's a must in Montreal. It's bar and restaurant hopping. Because Montreal's food scene, oh my god, I miss it so much in Portugal. It's not even comparable. I've been coming to Montreal as a young chef for about 12 years now. This is easily the best culinary city in Canada. That's a fact. The food scene is actually really crazy. There's so many different places to try. Food has been amazing. I don't think we've had any shit meal here. It's been like unreal. Cheers. <laughs> Very good. How's this? <laughs> it's good. Okay. Oh, wait, you're amazing. Amazing. We're going to the Mylan, a nice gnocchi place. Wow. <laughs> the texture is perfect. Let's try the snails. Fish and chips we had was a freaking amazing. Oh, good. Like the, the best, best fish and chips I've ever had. I wish that I could bring it home with me and eat it every day. Dinner was pretty phenomenal. That was probably one of the best things I've ever eaten before. The food is amazing. Not many people know this, but Vietnamese food is very good in Montreal, and this is one of the best places, so never touch a book by its cover. So good. I have to say, these are probably some of the most soup-filled dumplings I have ever eaten. Amazing. Crepes, dinner, maple syrup. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, look at how good this looks. We're going to Arthur's, which we've heard is like very famous, well-known brunch place in Montreal and everyone raves about it. Okay guys, we just have the best brunch ever. I, well, 
for me, I would say. No, that, I think we can all collectively agree. Right? Like Arthur's is not overrated. <laughs> we stopped at Walensky's. Walking into Walensky's diner is such a throwback. It's from 1932, it's a Jewish diner. I don't think it's been updated since then. It's super cool inside. If you go there, you have to get the Walensky special with the cherry Coke. We went for the special. It's like a, one thing that you have to try here in Montreal. It's on all the lists of things to have. It's got salami, bologna, we added Swiss cheese, and it, it comes with mustard as well. And there are notes on the wall saying that it has to come with mustard. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is an explosion of flavor. Oh, and the bread. That is the secret weapon, I think. This is exceptional. The cherry coke is homemade. They put like a syrup in with like sparkling water, I guess. They make their own soda. Make their own soda, I got a cherry cola. It's pretty delicious. Hmm. Highly recommend, also very inexpensive. The restaurant scene up here is just out of this world, and if you're foodies like us, you're in for a treat. I want to go grab some, uh, try some of the local food. Seriously, if you ever visit Montreal, you need smoked meat, poutine, and bagels. It's bagel time. It's bagel time, finally. Bagel place. And now that the border is open, Montrealers are happy to remind Americans that the best bagels are in fact theirs. Bagels from Montreal are so much better. Oh because, boy, look at no, what just happened. First of all, they turned you on you. You American bagels, you're like a muffin in Spanx trying to fit into a real bagel shape. So there is always an ongoing debate on whether Montreal or New York has better bagels. We've tried both. Montreal wins hands down. I really, really, really wanted to try a bagel in Montreal. We had watched an episode of Anthony Bourdain. He spoke so highly of bagels in Montreal. I'm here, I'm gonna make it happen. I mean, if you came to visit here and you didn't get a bagel, I mean, did you even really come to Montreal? So I ended up getting a salmon bagel. It was so good, so good. And I went into it with no idea of what I was getting into. <laughs> oh man, absolutely excellent. These are bagels you can eat without anything. Real New York City bagels, good as it is, and I love it. You kind of need cream cheese and lox and lots of stuff going on. You would never eat them on their own. These are just super, super flavorful, where you don't need anything. So the more I ate this, the more I fell in love. I could literally eat like five of these. These are so good. Oh my, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with Montreal bagels now. Same Vietnam bagels. Oh my God, I had to. And they're hot. Oh. Oh my god, this, it's nice being back, I gotta say. These are more bagels that I will try to bring back to the studio for everyone. This is an all-dressed bagel, not an everything bagel, even though I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> this is a great bagel. Uh, guys, <laughs> it looks Robert. good, it looks good. We couldn't go all the way to Montreal without getting a poutine. You need to call it poutine. Poutine. So it's yes. poutine. Well, I, we constantly mispronounce it because we're American. Right, right. No, I, I, I've been calling he it poutine. He keeps calling it me. fries and gravy. So <laughs> all I know is that cheese curd better squeak on my teeth. I can smell the poutine. <laughs> we have now come over to get one of the most famous things in all of Quebec and take a look at this. It smells so good in here, I have to say. That's delicious. We're here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, it's so fresh. Yeah, the fries are delicious. It's not just like one thing, it's like all of it. I don't even know what to say, I'm speechless. It's like an ingredient I've never tasted before. So this is a Scooby. They're like deep fried pickles. Oh my god. I'm done. I need to move here. I get it now. What? I get it now. What about poutine? Yeah, I'm converted. Yeah. And here's Vicky's poutine. It's delicious. This gravy is so good. Is it good? Uh huh. Okay. We waited in line for over an hour at a popular Portuguese chicken restaurant. And let's just say we were not disappointed with our Portuguese chicken and chorizo sausage poutine. Wow. The amount of flavors in here. Uh, I get some sausage in this one here. I need a minute. I need a moment. I need a moment. <laughs> I need a moment. Oh, damn. Today? Ooh. That was a big bite for your first bite. That was massive. <laughs> Everyone's interested. Yeah, they know what's up. They miss well behind me. <laughs> you cooked it well, man. <laughs> Everyone wants a little bit of the poutine. Cal, you gonna send him a bite or? Yeah. Insane. Insane. 
All right, we're wasting no time here. We've come right over to the next place. This is a Montreal smoked meat sandwich. It's probably what Montreal is most famous for. Is I think meat. so. So I'm at the Schwartz Deli, which is like the oldest in Canada, and it's world famous known for its smoked meat. We're here at an absolute Montreal institution. When you're in Montreal, this is a spot. We're talking almost a hundred years of history. Look who finally got his smoked meat after, after about a 45 minute long wait. Oh my god. When you go to Montreal, you don't f around. Is it worth 45 minutes though? Yes. You think so? For sure. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> this is just how I remembered it. Wow. Why isn't there one in TO? Best sandwich in the world. Hands down. The vibe, the smells, the aromas, yeah, that's all part of the charm. You gotta come here, you guys. Holy sweet mother of... Schwartz, you get a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. yeah I've, oh, I'm at a loss for words. Mindless, but um, once again, greatest sandwich ever. Greatest sandwich ever. This happens to us sometimes when we're filming. People will come around and watch us. Sometimes not a person. Well, aren't you <laughs> the cutest little kitty? You want some meat, I bet. I'm sure you do. Montreal is arguably the best city for urban exploration in Canada. Not only does it have a very different feel from cities in English North America due to the density and different architectural influences, its neighborhoods feel very distinct from each other with their own look, feel, and local identity. Oh my god, that is See, so we cute. Been there for how long. Uh, oh like, I wonder god. what it's like inside. Okay. They have the cutest little apartments, right? The area here is called Plateau and it's so beautiful. They got like super cozy houses, like the facades are insane. Le Plateau's green leafy streets are also lined with beautiful century old homes in a variety of different colors. I just love the neighborhood, man. Last time we were in Montreal, which was like five years ago, we came up to this area to visit and we just fell in love with it. It's actually one of our favorite neighborhoods in Canada. If you're wondering what it's like, it actually reminds us a little bit of Brooklyn, but in a different way. One thing I love about Montreal is all the green space, lots of trees, lots of places to sit for everybody. Montreal metropolitan area has over 1,300 parks. Hey, this is a cute little park that we found, eh? Just off the side street. Right. We just came to this little park. Makes me think of like a New York park. Yeah, it does. Because it has like big pillars. Like they just have like... You know, all the buildings are amazing. Everybody was so chill. And I'm talking like wine glasses at the park. Everybody was so laid back. It really enjoyed. And it was busy. It was a lot of people out there. There's a reason why you don't need a backyard in Montreal. It's because you have this. Something that Montreal does really, really well, especially compared to basically any other city, is their outdoor seating areas. We've been to a lot of cities and nobody does it quite like this city. They just have like areas set up where you can come hang out, sit down, chill out with your friends. It's really great. There's a quote that I love by the urban designer and architect Jan Gell. He said that a good city is like a good party. People stay longer than is really necessary because they are enjoying themselves. And that's really the only way to describe Montreal. It's a good party. And when I say a party, I don't really mean a rager. I mean that the city feels alive. And that is in large part due to how the city's public spaces are designed. We are here at the base of Mont Royal. And there is a Sunday festival that goes on every single Sunday during the nice weather called the Tam Tams. It's a collective of drummers and people dancing and singing and just having a great time and celebrating life. The vibes were really chill and it seems like a place that you can go and be yourself without being judged. Parc du Mont-Royal is an incredible slice of nature in the heart of the city. No trip to Montreal would be complete without climbing Mont Royal. That is easier said than done. I have to walk all the way up. Can you even see how massive this hill is? But you know what the good news is? These houses are so cute. Look at this. It's very much like New York City. How I want New York City to be is how Montreal is. It's clean. <sighs> we should call an Uber. I don't want to do this. This is it. Oh, really <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh my goodness. I see the lookout, you guys. Oh, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, guys, we made it to the very top. Not it's a bad view. Not a bad view, definitely worth all the walking. The <laughs> lookout spot, Mont Royal. I'll translate that to Mount. It's Mount Royal. Mount Royal, so, yeah. Mont Royal. Whoa, what? It's old French for Montreal. Mount Royal. Mount Royal. Really? Ah, life, life is just amazing, you know? You know? 
Things like this just make me appreciate all I have in life. Any of my viewers from Toronto will know that our raccoons do not look like this. They do not act like this. These are so tame. The ones in Toronto will literally kill your small dog. Literally, I've never seen anything like this. I lived in many different places and Montreal is definitely my favorite. Montreal was really good. We have been here before. We loved it and I think we're gonna come again. Yeah, for right? sure. It's like at least once a year. Prior to the pandemic, we would visit Montreal like almost once a year. Yeah. We really like Canada, specifically Montreal. I'm actually really sad that we have to leave, but I will be back. We'll be back 100 million percent. Goodbye Airbnb. You were one of the best apartment we stayed in. 23. 23 cars. 23. Wow. This is where Torontonians flood to on a long weekend. Man, this city, Montreal, what is it about this place? It's one of my absolute favorite cities, definitely favorite city that at least we've been to in Canada. Yeah. And just one of my, in general, favorite cities. It's vibrant, yeah, I love it's it. fun, it's young, it's delicious. Yeah. Incredible experience. Highly recommend Montreal, especially if you kind of just want to eat and chill. All we did was eat and drink, and we could not have been happier. But Montreal is always a good idea. That's my <laughs> final word. <laughs> Overall, I've really enjoyed my time here in Montreal. It's been incredible to be able to experience the fashion, the food, and everything that comes along with being a Montrealer. You know what I love the most about Montreal? While you're walking, you can hear so many different languages, from French to Arabic. Arabic in all kind of accent, okay? Like Tunisian accent, Syrian accent, Egyptian. You can find all kind of people. And I love this. It shows how diverse this city is. Sadly, we are on our way back home, but we had so much fun the last three days and have made so many wonderful memories. The city has a very unique vibe that is hard to find anywhere else in Canada. I had a good time in Montreal. Really enjoyed the vibe of the city. It's very photogenic and has a ton of potential for street photography. So yeah, I'll be back for sure. Any last thoughts, baby? Uh, what do you recommend? Everything, come here, see the city downtown, the island, the park, I, I love it. This is his favorite city. Uh, it is the perfect size. You get the big town vibes and the small town vibes and public transportation is amazing. The people are awesome. The food's pretty good. Lots of green spaces, lots of museums. Cool people. If you're looking for a really diverse environment, this is it. That's it. We're headed to the airport. My friends that live there, they just have the best lives. Their lives are fun. They have a certain passion for life. April, final thoughts in Montreal. Go, 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 go. Okay, um, it was really beautiful. I loved it. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>